Hi everyone, it's Lisa Brown with InkandInspirations.com. Thanks for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to be doing a catalog case, which case stands as the acronym for copy and share everything. And so Stampin' Up! has some beautiful samples in their um, catalog. And so great to use these for inspiration as a starting point or to copy it exactly. So I loved this one. So I tried to uh, get it as close as I could. So here is my card and we're going to be putting this together today. So let's get started. It's using the beautiful Parisian Beauty Bundle uh, that comes with dies and this stamp set and the new mini catalog. Okay, we are starting with a Sahara Sand card base, cut it five and a half by eight and a half. It's one half sheet of cardstock. I'm just gonna match those corners there and get my bone folder and give it a good crease. All right, next I have some of the beautiful Parisian Blossoms Designer Series paper. And this is the pattern that was used in the Stampin' Up! catalog, so I just copied it. It's four by five and a quarter, and it is adhered at an angle here on the card base just for interest. That's always fun to do that and makes for a different look for your card. Okay, so I'm just using some of our liquid glue here. And put it on the back. Might need to get another bottle. Okay. Let me go ahead and put this here and just angle it a bit without it going over the edge of the card. Okay. All right. So, next, uh, for much of the stamping, and we use every stamp in this set. Uh, except for a few of the sentiments, um, which is great. I love that to create that awesome background. And so here, this is Whisper White, and it is cut at five, I'm double checking, five by three and three quarters. And we're going to do some stamping on this. So I'm going to start with the Pool Party cardstock, cardstock, Pool Party ink, which is one of the colors in that designer paper. And this long scripted message here, that's a stamp, really pretty verse in this set. And I'm going to stamp it mm, two or three times here. Pool party's light, so I don't need to stamp off. And I'm just gonna come right here. I think I'm gonna try twice and see how that works for me. Okay. So I can put this pool party aside, and now I'm going to take um, some Sahara Sand ink, and I'm going to stamp this little um, postage Eiffel Tower stamp. I wish I knew the correct term for that, but I'm just gonna get it, and uh, Sahara Sand is fairly light too, so I'm not gonna stamp off with it. Uh, on too much of this. Okay, that looks good. Now, let me take the Fleur de Lis and I'm going to stamp off with this so it's a little more muted. I'm going to put one down here, one right here, and I think that's it for now. I may come back later and add some. Then I'm going to take this postage cancellation swirl here and stamp off and stamp over both of these. I didn't do this in the first one, but I want I like the look of it. Okay, and then I'm going to get the Eiffel Tower here and put it here. It won't take the whole image, but that's okay. And I've talked about in, pre in other videos about how when I have a large stamp like this, I like to mount it on the clear block and then turn it with the rubber side up and then stamp like, ink it up like this so I can see the coverage here. 
And on this, you're not so concerned, on this style card, you're not so concerned with uh, excellent coverage, okay? So here I'm just going to, let me straighten this up a bit, stamp it like that. It's really kind of a vintage look. Um, so I'm liking how that looks. So there's another stamp that goes on here, but we also have a strip of designer paper and a sentiment going across here. And the placement of that stamp, which is this one, depends on that particular piece. So I'm gonna hold off on that, close up my ink, and show you the two strips here that I'm talking about. Here's a beautiful strip of those blossoms. Uh, this is cut at mm, four and a half by one and a quarter, okay? And what we're gonna do to it is just barely cut in and banner the ends, maybe a half inch cut in at the center there. And then I'm coming from the corner to the center and cutting, corner to the center and cutting. And do the same on the other side, about a, about a half an inch. Not maybe not quite three eighths, maybe. Don't measure it. Just just do it barely. You don't want a large banner in. Just something that's barely there. Okay, and that's going to go right there. You see how that kind of all of these stamps kind of frame that out. Okay. Now, since I know where this is gonna be placed, which I can do that right there, I wanna give myself room, I know that I can stamp this here, okay? So I'm going to give myself a point of reference. So it's this bottom line here where the top of my designer paper is. So I wanna just go with that. Let me get my Sahara Sand ink. ink it up, stamp off, and then here's where my paper is going to be. So I want to come a little above that. And so let me just go for it. Yep, I think that'll be perfect. So I can close this up. And now this is going to go here, just like that. You see how that is just peeking out over the top there? You can't really mess it up, just play with it. I was just copying the Stampin' Up! sample, but you could fairly easily random stamp to frame out your sentiment or your main image and come up with a beautiful card. So give it a try. This is a great little technique to try. Now, for the sentiment, uh, I have a piece of Whisper White and it is cut at one by three and a half and I'm going to leave those um, edges flat like that. Um, and I'm going to use Cherry Cobbler. That's another color in that paper. And the Sentiment. And I'm gonna test it first before I stamp on my cardstock. Yep, that'll be good. It looks good and straight. going to center that there and go for it. There we go. So now this, oh, I'm not through with that. I'm going to take my Fleur de Lis and I'm going to blow on it. See how it still has ink? And then I'm just going to go over top right here. Okay, it still had plenty of ink on it. All right, so now in fact, that's a little darker than I thought it was going to be, but it's okay. You can still read the sentiment. So now I'm going to glue this over top of this banner. Phew, I was getting a little hot and warm with my jacket on and the heater on. Okay, so that is gonna go there, and I am going to mount that with Stampin' Dimensionals. Put 
of cleaning here. Okay, and now there's one other piece that we're gonna add to this. Uh, well, actually two. They're kind of like the accent pieces that we create with dies and stamps. Uh, the first one is an embossed fleur-de-lis that is embossed Whisper White on Sahara Sand cardstock. And I will put that one on first. Line this up here. There we go. Now, here it is. I've already done it. And if you need to see embossing uh, with a heat tool, let me know in the comments here and I will do a video on that. But I thought this video is going to be long enough as it is with all this stamping. And I die cut it with the Fleur de Lis die that's in the set. I mounted the Stampin' Dimensional toward the top because it's going to be partial over the sentiment piece here and part on the Whisper White. Okay. And so now our last little finishing touch piece is this beautiful swirl that is also in this Parisian Beauty Dye Bundle. And it is going to slip up underneath like that, okay? And so because this is mounted with dimensionals, I can slip this underneath very easily. I didn't have to put it on first, which makes it easier to determine the position of a piece like this that you're adding at the end, especially when it's tucked up underneath something. Okay, I'm just putting little dabs of glue in certain areas. And then I'm just going to slide that underneath like that. Okay. So there is the main part of the card. And then this is kind of on straight since that back piece is angled. I'm lining the top of this up with the top of the card base and I'm going to glue this on. And then of course you can finish the inside of your card with a piece of Whisper White, cut four by five and a quarter, and stamped or embellished however you like. Let me try another glue bottle here. Running out in the other one. Okay, let's put this on straight, line it up on the grid sheet. The grid sheets come in really handy and they are in our annual catalog. If you've never used one, they're great. Okay, all right, so you can see here I finished the inside of the card with that piece of Whisper White, and then I stamped the Eiffel Tower without re-inking it, as well as the little postal image, and that's just like the background for my message. Okay, there's our card for today. If you have any questions, let me know. Visit my website at inkandinspirations.com, and I will talk to you all again soon. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.